Welcome back. We are now moving into another idea we will work on uh, for today. And I just want you to pay attention to what I will say here regarding the days. Now let's see this example and what it makes, uh, uh, how, like, it's, what is it about. We are saying Tim deposited $1,000 in a bank. He deposited $1,000 in a bank on 22 January 2020 with a compound interest of 10%. What is the sum of his amount on May 4 from the same year, from 2020? Okay. Here, as long as I gave you the dates in days and I mentioned the year, so we have to calculate the, uh, the days. From the time of the deposit, from the time of deposit to the time where he came to check how much his money became. So he deposited his money on 21 Jan. And he went to the bank on May 4. We won't see how many days between 21 January and May 4. How could we calculate this? Usually, we have two kinds of years. Let me tell you, we have two kinds of years. We have a small one, which is 365 days. That's as long as I mentioned for you the dates with dates. And we have the big year, which is 366. What are the difference between them? They differ only in one day extra for the big year or the great year. Why this one day? Because in this one day, instead of February, is 28 days. No, February will be 29 days. But here, in the 365, February is 28 days. Still, you have a question you want to ask me. Then how I will know if this year is 366 days or 365 days. I will tell you something very example, very simple that will help you to do this. To do this, you will check the number of the year. Here is the number 2020. And you will divide this by 4. Divide by 4. Some people say because the year includes 4 seasons, whatever it is. So 20 by 4 will give me 5, and 20 by 4 will give me 5. So I have now here, this is a friction number, 505. This is not including frictions. This is a real number. When I get the out results, 20, 20 by the calculator divided by 4, it gave me 5 or 5, no fraction, no decimal points. As long as there is no decimal points, then this year is 366 days. Let me give you another example. If it was 2019, no, the situation is different here because when you divide by 4, when you divide by 4, 2019 by 4, then in this case, it will give you a fraction. 20 by 4 will give you 5, or 19 by 4 will give me uh, 4, 4, uh, 16, and 75. So here, there is a fraction, there is a decimal point. So, as long as there is a decimal point, then this year is 365 days. I think now it's clear. So when you divide the year by 4, and it gives you a real number, that means it's a, a year 366 days. If you divide by 4 and it gave you a fraction like here with a decimal point, then this is a small year with 365 days and where February will be 28 days only. But in 2020, 366 days and February will be 29 days for February. Okay, anyhow, if you want to know the days of the years, they are always up and down, 30 and 31. We have months, 
some months 30 and other months 31 let's go like this Jan is 31 February it depends on the year February may be 28 or 29 28 or 29 based on the year like we said March is 31 April is 30 May is 31 June is 30 July is 31 August 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 actually is 31 too because they were two in the Roman Empire they were two big Julius uh, Caesar so they consider for them uh, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, then August, see? July, then August. So both of them are 31. September will be uh, 30. October, sorry, yeah, October will be 31. Then November will be 30 and December will be 31. Let's now go for the calculation of the period between 21, 22 Jan and between and the other date is May 4. So this year is 2020, which is a great year. And this year, 2020, 2020, when I divide by 4, it will give me 505. No fraction, no fraction. Then this is 366 days. And February is 29 days. That's fine. So here we go. Here we go. And we'll go like this. Now count from 21 and you are going to May. So in January is still 9 days because this is 22 and January is 31 days. January is 31. So I took from them 22 out then it's still in January 9 days. Plus February all of it. This is a big year so February will be 29 days. Then March, March all will be 31 days. Then all April, April will be 30 days. Then plus May, May we have 4 days in May. All this will come to One or three days. If you do it with the calculator, one or three days. Okay. So my time now, my time period will be one o three divided by three sixty six, and this is will be my time. This will be the time. Because it's days, I divided by 366. Why did I did all this? Because I mentioned to you the dates and I mentioned year. So when I mentioned the days and mentioned the year, you have to convert it to collect to sum up the days, all manual, all by your hand. And you will divide by based on the year. If it is 366 or 365, sometimes you will say, Osama, you told us before you will divide by 360. Yes, if I didn't mention to you, absolutely, if I didn't mention the dates with years, like I didn't tell you the year 2020, 2019, 2018, if I didn't mention the years, then you have to divide by 360. Otherwise, check out the, day, the dates with the year. First start with the year, see. The days in this year is how many days? 365 or 366? It's based on the number of the year when you divide it by 4, like we said before. And if you have no fractions, no decimal points, then this is 
a great year, 366 days, and February is 29 days. And if it was a small year, then, or, or not a, like 365, if there was a fraction, like we said before, if there was a fraction or there is a decimal point, like 2019 and 2020. 2019 is 365 days, and February is 28 days. 2020 is 366 days, and February is 29 days. Then, 103, 103 days divided by 366, this will give me, we'll check out by the calculator how much this will give, and this will be our power. Okay, so here we go on 300, 103, 103, divided by 366, that will equals, okay, we'll make it an SD, will equals 0.28, 0.28 is enough, equals 0.28. So my power, the T, will be 0.28. This will be the T, 0.28. Let me now go back to the example, which we were just in a solution for it. We knew now that the, the T is 0.28. That's fine. And we know how to calculate the days. Our T is... 0.28. Some students will take more than two uh, the two digits after the uh, decimal point. That's fine. It's okay. So now I will say the submission of this amount will be the principal multiplied by one plus r power t. Why I did this? Because it's a compound interest. It's a compound interest. So the submission or the sum, the whole sum of the amount will be the principal is 1,000. Here we go. The principal is 1,000. By 1 plus my R rate is 10%, point 0.1. Then the T is here. My T is here. Point 0.28. The power, point 0.28. Then this will be 1,000 multiplied by 1.1 power to 8. See, I'm doing it step by step for you just to know how did we get it. Because reading it like without explanation is very difficult or very hard. Okay, now I will keep the 1,000 aside. Then I will go to 1.1 power Two eight and check out how it will be like. Now, uh, one point one x n point two eight. This will equals one point zero two seven. One point zero two seven. Then this amount at the end of this period. When we multiply it, will be $1,027. Of course, there is also 0, 0, 4. You can take three numbers of the digit, that's fine. Three numbers are okay. Then, if you want to calculate the interest only, the interest amount, the interest amount will be the whole sum, 1,027, minus the principal, which was 1,000. So, they made $27 in the bank in this period. Thank you.